books, but I also like the outdoors. We're at the Greenway in Milledgeville, Georgia. It's a pretty cool place. We're gonna go explore. Do you like to go outside? I like playgrounds. I like parks. And I like, I like the dog park. Do you like the dog park? I'm not over at the dog park right now. There's too many dogs. Roar. Roar. Some boys and girls are scared of dogs. That's understandable. All dogs have teeth. They can bite. But a lot of dogs are just like people. They just need to what we call socialize. And they have all different kinds of personalities just like us, just like ourselves, just like people. But you should always, 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 always roar, ask the owner if you can approach and pet their dog before you pet them. Especially if you don't know the dog, just like we don't talk to strangers. Um, well, just like we don't talk to people that seem unfamiliar to us, if there's an unfamiliar dog out there, you don't just walk up and start petting it. You ask first and get to know it. Let it get to know you. It has to smell you and it has to know that you're friendly too. So let's go adventure. Come along. I'm going to show you some of my favorite places. Roar! This is called a boardwalk. It's like a bridge, but it's probably called a boardwalk roar because it's made out of boards. I don't know. I'll have to look that up later. Boardwalk. B-O-A-R-D W-A-L-K Roar! Roar! I like walking down the boardwalk.
but the weather seems okay today. I've been enjoying being outside. I like being outside. Roar! Roar! I like being outside. Roar! Roar! Miss Virginia! Miss Virginia! I'll be back in a moment, Rory. Oh, okay. She'll be back in a few minutes. I'm, I'm gonna, I don't really have anyone to play hide and seek with right now, but maybe we can play hide and seek later. It's so quiet out here. Let's listen. I'm going to take you somewhere else. Hi, Roar! Roar! I'm on the balance beam. This is a little scary. Oh, oh, I see a friend of mine. Hi. Hi. Hi, friend. Here, I'll move down and you can do this. Show us how it's done. climb trees if there's any good climbing trees. Oh, I like to climb trees. I don't know if lions actually climb trees, to be honest, but I like to climb trees. Roar! Roar! What kind of trees do you like to climb? Well, I like to climb big trees, but I don't like them to be too big and not too many branches so I can climb high but not too high so if I fall down I can't hurt myself. Do you ever wear any special equipment when you go climbing? Only if it's like actual serious climbing. When I'm climbing trees though not usually I don't try to climb too high so no. Did, did Roar did you know that there's an actual term for tree climbing? 
No. There is. Rawr. It's called arborine. A R B O R I N G. Arborine. Cool. That's tree climbing. Cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. Maybe one day you'll get to go up in a really big tree. I think tree climbers or arborists. They use special equipment. Did you know that? Like they wear helmets and have pulleys and they use really cool equipment to like keep that, to, to help, to, to help them. I'm so excited about climbing trees. They roar, they, or, I'm really excited talking about tree climbing. They wear special equipment like helmets and things to keep them safe and they use pulleys and special equipment to help them climb. Yeah, actually I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't remember where I learned it from, but roar, roar, I think that's really cool. It is. I think I read about it in a book, because I like books, I like books. And books teach you a lot of information. That's right, books teach you lots of information. What kind of books teach you information? Fiction or non-fiction? I think I stumped him. <laughs> oh, uh, non-fiction? That's right. Non-fiction is all about facts and true things. Really cool stuff. Are you a fiction reader or a non-fiction reader or both? Both, definitely. Sounds good to me. I like to read both also. Oh, I'm getting a little sleepy. Oh, 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 did I, did I just fall asleep? Yes, you did, Rory. Oh, hi, I'm Rory, and this is Weekly wa Wanderings with Rory Lion. That's me, that's me. That is you. So, so what kind of weather is it today? Is it hot? Is it cold? Is it is it warm? Is it is it cloudy? Tell me about the weather. I'd say it's warm. It is warm. I agree. I like you. You're, You're my friend. You're my friend too. Thanks for being here with me. Can I get a high five? Thank you also for being here. Let's go explore somewhere else or else I'm going to fall asleep. I might need to take a nap. Roar! I like books and naps. Oh, oh, oh. You fell asleep again. I fell asleep again. Roar! Roar! Alright, let's go. I'm going to go. Let's go explore somewhere else. Yeah, definitely. sometime. Uh-huh. Rawr. Oh, thank you. Can I have one more hug? Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for being here and joining us at the Oconee River Greenway today. We had so much fun. And this is Weekly Wanderings with Rory Lion. Ah, that's, that's me. That's you. That's me. I'm totally going to take a nap. You go to sleep. 
Yeah, I'm I'm ready to go to sleep. You definitely need some Rory! Sleep. Oh, oh, that's Miss Virginia. I gotta go. I'll talk with you later.